Tale of the Tape brought to you by Deep and Busters, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. One of the more familiar names in the sport. Yeah, that's why nothing's highlighted. To me, the highlight is the name, brother of Lo Leota Mashida. That can be a lot of pressure. We often talk about the age of fighters versus the mileage, and Jinzo Mashida does not have a lot of mileage. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Get up. Fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. It's Miller time. See the stance. That's pure Machida right there. Light on that front foot, more of a karate type style. That's what his family's known for. Their father taught them karate starting at three, four years old. And that was their entry point. That was their discipline. It's been two years away. Jinzo Machida signed to Bellator back in 2014. Shoulder surgery, tendon surgery, delayed this debut. He's looked around and seen athletes in many sports being successful and competing at a high level at 39, 40, 42, 44 years old. What you can't do against that karate style is hang back like Navarro's doing right now. Got to put pressure on him. So good with those lead tools. At range, Machida's kind of fight. He's not Navarro. He's had moments where you can see his physical talent, you can see his ability, but like against Clever Luciano, who's an interesting black belt veteran here in Southern California. He spent a lot of that time running into takedowns, defending on the ground, didn't make the right tactical choices. And right now, staying on the outside is not the right tactical choice. He has to move in. Both fighters, this is their first fight since 2014. Oh, huge right hand. John yeah, McCarthy on, giving it a close look. Move, Mario. There we go. He's giving Mario Navarro a chance to back out of it. Jinzo Machida pouring it on, but Navarro has survived for the moment. Navarro did just enough. When he said move, he said show me something. He moved but just enough to stay in this fight. But I don't know if his head's clear right now. That's a great job by John McCarthy. Great referee will give you just enough opportunity to get back in the fight. Just like that. Matt Mitrione. Yep, it's Carl Sayamatatafa. Perfect example. Jinzo Machida, fairly tough weight cut. Walks around about 167, 168. He's done his work as a play to King's MMA. Only with his brother, Rafael Dos Anjos. Look at that right hand over the top. He's hurt again. That's the old shoot box camp. Rafael Cordero out of that camp. What is that? Oh, monster right. Buckles the knees of Navarro. He survived the first time, but not here. Stay right there for a second. It's okay. It's all right. I tried to let you go, baby. Out from the shadow of his brother, Tinzo Mashida. That's an impressive, impressive knockout. And what I like so much about it was the timing of each one of those shots. Right on the button. Great timing, great placement. Wasn't winging big shots, he was a sniper. Timing, usually the hardest thing to find after two years old. Helps when you're doing it since you're four. <laughs> That's an extraordinary point. The Black Art Premium Spice Rum Replay, the bold 93 proof rum. It's edgy to the core. And this is the first knockdown set up with a kick. His right hand right over the top. You see, look at it again. When he kicks him, he doesn't plant his foot before throwing the right hand. That's why Navarro was still in the fight. Didn't really have his hips under him. Wasn't able to turn that punch over. Knocked him down, but couldn't finish him. Now look at the finish punch. That foot planted, the hip into it, the turn on that punch made it way more effective. Beautiful shot. And look at the feet. You fight from the waist down. And look at the turn that gives him the power in that uppercut. That's why that one was a knockout. The first one was just a knockdown. The subtle difference is that a guy like Machida, he knows the difference. June 21st.
forth live from Madison Square Garden, Chael Sonnen. I will put an end to Vandalay. And Vandalay Silva will settle their epic grudge match. Plus, the return of Fedor Emelianenko. Bellator NYC, presented by Miller Lite. Live Saturday, June 24th at 10, only on pay-per-view. An impressive and disciplined return to the cage for Jinzo Machida. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside, the Bellator cage referee, John McCarthy, steps in and waves off the contest. Official time, two minutes, 57 seconds, and new round number one, the winner by TKO, Jinzo Machida. Yeah.